Hi guys. What do we have today? Here we have predictions for today's 8 of 15 NBA games. Let's get started. Atlanta Hawks and Boston Celtics. The Hawks have been in pretty good form since they won 4 of the last 6 games. The Celtics are in great shape won 4 of their previous 5 games. The Hawks didn't play well on the road at the start of the season. In their last 39 road games, they have won only 16 of them. The Hawks have won 3 times and covered the spread 4 times in their previous 8 away games. The Celtics are playing great on their home court this season. They won 30 of their 40 home games while covering the spread 23 times. They recently won 11 of their last 13 home games, covering 9 of those 13. Head to head, the Hawks won once while covering the spread twice in the last 5 games against the Celtics in Boston. Even though a win in this game would secure 8th place before the play-in tournament, the Hawks are not in good shape. The Celtics are gearing up for the start of the playoffs, and I'm sure they won't pass up another easy win. Play Boston Celtics minus 7. Philadelphia 76ers and Brooklyn Nets. Since winning 4 of their past 6 games, the Sixers have been in good form. The Nets are in excellent shape, having won 5 of their previous 6 games. The Sixers are one of the best road teams in the league. This season, they won 24 of their 40 road games. They've recently played well on the road, winning and covering the spread in 8 of their past 12 games. This season, the Nets played well on their home ground. They've won 23 of their last 40 games at home. Recently, the Nets have won 5 times while covering the spread 4 in their previous 10 home games. Head to head, the Sixers won and covered the spread in three of their last six games against the Nets in Brooklyn. The Sixers have depth, which I believe will be the decisive element in this game. Play Philadelphia 76ers plus four. Charlotte Hornets and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Hornets have been in awful shape since they have won once in the last five games, and here they will be hoping to avoid a third consecutive defeat. The Cavaliers have been in excellent form since they won 7 of their last 9 games and here will seek to extend their current 3 game winning run. The Hornets have struggled to win away games from the start of the season. They've won only 13 of their 40 road games. Recently, they have played a great ball in road games. The Hornets have won and covered the spread in 4 of their last 6 road games. The Cavaliers have been playing great ball at home this season. They won 31 of their 40 home games. The Cavs have won 8 of their last 11 home games but have only covered the spread 5 times. Head to head, the Hornets won 3 times and covered the spread 4 in the last 6 games against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. This is the Hornets' final game of the season. The Cavaliers continue their excellent season, and extending their winning run here is critical. Play Cleveland Cavaliers minus 3. Orlando Magic and Miami Heat. The Magic aren't playing their best ball right now having won only twice in their past six games, and they'll be looking to avoid their fourth straight defeat tonight. Since winning three of their past four games, the Heat have been in terrific form. The Magic have not played well in road games this season. Just 14 of their 40 away games were won. Recently, they have won twice in the last seven road games while covering the spread in five of those seven. The Heat have been excellent at home so far this season. They had won 26 of their previous 40 home games but had only covered the spread 13 times. They played fine recently, having won 7 of their last 11 home games, covering 5 times. Head to head, the Magic lost 6 straight games but covered a spread in 4 of those 6 against the Heat, which they played in Miami. This game marks the end of the Magic's season. For the Heat, this game has no meaning, and since they are not a young team, I expect they will rest most of their key players here. Play Orlando Magic plus 5. Indiana Pacers and New York Knicks. The Pacers are in awful shape since they have won once only in the last 8 games, and here will try to end a 3 game losing run. The Knicks are in excellent form since they have won 5 of their previous 6 games. The Pacers have struggled on the road this season. This season, they have only won 14 of their 40 away games. They have recently played significantly better in road games, winning 6 while covering 7 of their previous 12 games. The Knicks have played fine on their home floor this season. They have won 23 of their 40 home games. The Knicks have lately won 9 while covering the spread in 8 of their last 11 home games. Head to head, the Pacers covered the spread once only in the last 6 games, which they have played against the Knicks in New York. 
with this game, the Pacers' season will come to an end while the Knicks' season is only getting started. Regardless of who plays today, the Knicks have depth and will outperform the awful Pacers. Plain New York Knicks minus 8. Milwaukee Bucks and Toronto Raptors. The Bucks have been in pretty good form since they have won 5 of their last 7 games. The Raptors aren't in good shape since they have lost 2 of the previous 5 games, and here will try to avoid a third consecutive loss. The Bucks all season played a great ball in road games. They've won 26 of their last 40 road games while covering the spread 19. Recently, the Bucks have won 6 and covered 3 times in their previous 7 road games. The Raptors are playing great on their home court. They have won 26 of their 40 home games this season. The Raptors have recently maintained their strong home form, winning 10 of their past 11 games while covering the spread in 8 of those 11. Head to head, the Bucks won and covered the spread in 5 of the last 9 games against the Raptors in Toronto. This game means nothing to the Bucks but can determine whether the Raptors will host or go to Chicago for the playing game versus the Bulls. Play Toronto Raptors minus 2. Houston Rockets and Washington Wizards. Surprisingly, the Rockets are in pretty good shape since they have won three of their last four games and will be looking to extend their winning streak to three straight today. The Wizards are in terrible shape, but their most recent victory over the Heat allowed them to snap a five-game losing run. This season the Rockets are one of the league's worst road teams. Only seven of their 39 away games were wins. The Rockets have lost 11 of their previous 13 games on the road while covering the spread six times. This season, the Wizards play decently in home games. They have only won 19 of their last 40 home games this season. Recently, they have won four times while covering the spread five in their previous eight home games. Head to head, the Rockets won twice while covering the spread once only in the last five games against the Wizards in Washington. The Wizards' disappointing season comes to an end with this game. The Rockets are in great form, and I do not doubt they'll exert every effort to finish the season on a winning note. Play Houston Rockets minus 3. Detroit Pistons and Chicago Bulls. The Wizards are in poor shape, but their most recent win over the Heat ended their 11-game losing run. The Bulls are in decent form, having won three of their past five games. The Pistons are one of the league's worst on the road. This season, they won only eight of their 40 away games. They've lately lost 13 of their previous 14 road games, covering only six of them. The Bulls played pretty decently on their home floor. This season, they have won 21 of their 40 home games. Recently, they played poorly in their home games since they have won and covered the spread only three times in their previous seven home games. Head to head, the Piston didn't win or cover the spread in any of the last six games against the Bulls in Chicago. The Bulls may secure home court advantage in the first playing game against the Raptors by winning this game and if the Bucks defeat the Raptors in Toronto. Play Chicago Bulls minus 5. Guys, that's all. Thanks for joining us today. See you tomorrow.